Well, tonight, heading home. Shock trauma released the Baltimore County officer shot in the line of duty last week. He was wounded twice while trying to serve a warrant for attempted murder. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at Shock Trauma right now, and he has the show of support there today. Mike? A large show of support, Denise. Fellow officers by the dozens lined the ambulance bay here at Shock Trauma. They'd been praying and hoping for a swift recovery for Officer First Class Swinney, and they saluted him as he left here today. Great spirits. He's going home. Baltimore County Officer First Class Swinney was wheeled out of the ambulance bay at Shock Trauma six days to the hour after he and Baltimore City Officer Robert Adams were wounded in the northeast part of the city. Adams was shot in the calf and Swinney was shot in the abdomen and leg, shock trauma's physician and chief Thomas Scalia. When you at least have a fighting chance as we had with him, look how that ends up. Scalia says a tourniquet likely saved Officer Swinney's life. He lost a large amount of blood at the scene. He came in even with the tourniquet on, not doing real, real well. And there's very little question in my mind had he not had the tourniquet applied, then he may not have survive to get to the hospital. Officer Swinney is a 31-year veteran of the department. Both he and Officer Adams were shot in an apparent friendly fire incident. They were part of a large local federal task force serving a warrant on Michael Marullo, wanted for attempted murder out of Pennsylvania. Video from the scene shows Marullo coming toward officers. Police say he had a fully loaded weapon, but never fired a shot from it. Marullo died at the scene. Two officers are hit. Is down. Baltimore County's police chief says she's just glad her officer is well enough to go home. Absolutely nothing better than what we just saw happen. For, for our officer to have been shot in the line of duty last week and to be leaving shock trauma today, we're just incredibly grateful and we just have so much to celebrate. Baltimore City Police have not said who exactly shot these officers. They are leading the ongoing investigation into that tonight. Reporting live at Shock Trauma, Mike Helgren, WJZ.